All right, we've been working our way through these doodle rocks. I've done the other two that are completed here. They're on the page if you missed them. This one, we're gonna do a word rock. We're gonna use a fun script. I'm gonna show you how to take basic cursive and make it more hand lettered looking. And we're gonna add some little swirls and dips in. I make a big mistake on this rock and I'll show you how to fix that as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write my word on my rock. I am doing the word grow. So we're just gonna write similar to basic cursive. This That R isn't really basic cursive, but the rest of the letters are your basic cursive. Just lay it down in a single line. Get it onto your rock. And then we're gonna go in and add um, some thickness to make it look more beautiful. So I always like to do the downward strokes thicker and the upward strokes thinner. That's your good rule of thumb. So if you trace along it, just like you're writing a cursive word, as you see, I've got that downward stroke on the G, on the back side of the G, working away on the R, O, and W. Kind of play with which side of the line that you use to make thicker. Um, if you're squeezed for space a little bit, you can kind of fix some of your spacing with that. Don't forget that little spot on the left side of the R as well on the curl. Now I'm gonna change out for a different pen. That first one was brand new. I don't like to use my new, new ones that are extra pointy to do things like this. I am using the side of my paint pen and kind of angling my rock so that I can create this border right at the lip of my rock. This is a really quick way to give an edge. You can see the difference that it makes just giving this nice crisp edge along it. So I'm gonna show you up close here. I'm just on the side of my paint pen. Now I'm gonna switch back to my new extra fine tip. It can get very thin lines if you want it to um, when they're brand new. You wear down the tip slowly when you work on rocks. It's just gonna happen. So I always have like a fresh one, a medium one, and one that's really, really dull. So I'm just gonna start with the curl that I already have here. I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna thicken part of my curl here. And just take your time with this. You can always make your lines thicker. You can't make them thinner again. So. Always start with just a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the second curl coming off the back end of the word as well. I'm gonna fill some of this space along the top of my rock. You can touch along the edge and bounce back off. Just play around with it. And then again, go back through and thicken up certain areas of your line just to give it a little bit of weight in different areas. And then I'm gonna add these curls along the edge of my rock everywhere that I feel like doing it. Now be careful, less can be more. I get carried away on this curl and I really don't care for it all that much. And I have to tell you, if you don't like something about a rock, I sat here, I started playing with it a little bit. I did not love it more. Sometimes you just have to walk away. Um, I do come back and fix it though after I take a moment and paint a whole nother rock. So we're gonna go back in this area here and we're gonna turn this little blob thingy madoodle into a flower. The great thing about a flower is it can have lots of different petals designs. So I'm just gonna kind of work it in here. I'm gonna play with the thickness a little bit until I'm much happier with how it looks. So I am gonna show you really quick how we did the base coat on this rock. You're just putting down paint pen of both colors that you want on your rock. Put down a little pen, a little bit of water, little pen, little water. It basically turns these into watercolors. They blend and bleed together and they dry looking stunning. And they're perfect palettes for these fun little doodle rocks. Check out this next fun tutorial.